Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Sridhar Reddy. Now I will uh, discuss about pre-diabetic, diabetes and uh, its uh, prevention and cure. Uh, what to take, uh, what not to take and what to do, what not to do, these things. So generally nowadays uh, uh, we are hearing about the pre-diabetic stage. So what is pre-diabetic stage? So it is a stage where the sugar levels are near about to limit like uh, fasting blood sugar should be up to 120. So 120 above is called diabetic. So those people who are having fasting uh, blood sugar readings uh, above 110 or near about 120 are called as uh, pre-diabetic and it should be continuous. One time if it comes to 120 and uh, other times if it is uh, below 100 they are not. So uh, pre-diabetic means before diabetes means if they are coming to type 2 diabetes. So of the generally nowadays of course uh, when you reach 100 itself, people are, uh, doctors are telling that you are a pre-diabetic, so you have to start the medication. This is not correct. Because up to 120, the sugar levels are, it comes under normal only, but of course in the border level. So you are called as pre-diabetic. So when you become pre-diabetic, it is a precaution or it is a caution, it's warning. So warning by the body so that you have to take care because you are uh, having a chance to become a diabetic so we have to take care of our diet wa walking physical activity all these things because uh, the sugar which we are getting in the blood or because of, because of the uh, inactivity of the, our body so when you become active and when you go for walking exercises so automatically the sugar comes down becomes uh, very less so it will be normal so when inactivity or when you are not active physically, then sugar levels will increase. And second thing, the diet particularly. So diet which contains sugar, that should be reduced. Uh, like uh, sweets, uh, sweets and uh, bakery items and uh, soft drinks, which contain more sugar. These things should be avoided. And then uh, smoking and alcohol also creates a uh, sugar to increase. So that should be uh, controlled or if possible, you have to stop. And then the fruits, fruits also, uh, particularly mangoes, pineapple support or these things which uh, contains more sugar, those things also you have to reduce. Uh, like particularly high, highly ripened fruits, if it is uh, medium and uh, hard like uh, banana whatever fresh we get, so that we can eat, particularly in the uh, empty stomach. Instead of breakfast we can take fruits, but you should not take fruits after uh, uh, lunch or dinner. Because already lunch and dinner uh, it increases the sugar levels and if you take fruits it adds sugar and uh, sugar levels will increase. So fruits are very good for body but it should be taken in empty stomach separately. So that uh, uh, fruits will give you uh, body vitamins, enzymes, even protein also, fiber. So fiber is very good for uh, digestion and fat loss also. So particularly obese people, obese people have a tendency of getting diabetes. So obesity also it is uh, very dangerous in other words also but uh, even for diabetes also obesity is the one of the reason. So uh, you should maintain healthy weight like uh, according to your age, height so your weight should be in a balance. So these things are very important and uh, particularly belly fat or waistline, waistline fat is very dangerous. So because this fat will resist the insulin. So even if your pancreas is uh, producing insulin sufficiently but the body is not utilizing so why body is not able to utilize because because of your fat in the body so particularly fat in the abdomen area or belly whatever we call it as and waistline also and uh, particularly in uh, male if the waistline increases more than 40 so there the problem will be there and in uh, females it should not be above 35 35 inches is Okay, before below 35 is not bad, but above 35 inches is called as obesity or uh, the resistance will be there for the insulin. So this has to be maintained. And then uh, regular body activity will also increase the insulin production and uh, the utilization of insulin will be there so that the sugar levels will be normal. And then even the stress levels. So mentally, when you get more stress, when you think much, when you get worried about something, particularly the family issues, financial issues or whatever it may be. So that also increases the sugar levels and diabetics is also one of the reason. So the stress is also one of the reason. So mental stress is also you should control. Then coming to the sleep patterns. So sleep apnea, people who are having uh, sleep problems, uh, disturbed sleep and uh, fear. Sleep apnea means sometimes they will get sleep phobia. People, some people they have, when they have some uh, health issues like asthma or something, breathing problem. 
so they, they think that the uh, while asleep while asleep they will uh, get uh, suffocation or something like that so that there is a fear so because of the fear also there will be disturbance in the sleep so the sleep pattern will be disturbed and they won't get per perfect uh, sleep so this also affects the diabetes so when you don't have perfect sleep disturbed sleep and uh, you have different different dreams and uh, thoughts so automatically the sugar levels will increase so sleep also very important whatever the stress levels you have you should avoid particularly before uh, going to sleep at least half an hour so before sleep if you meditate meditation is very important so that your mind will be under control and uh, these uh, thoughts will be vanished so that you should divert your thoughts so that uh, your sleep you will get very good sleep so that it will not disturb your body so sleep will also increase uh, your immunity so immunity is very important and uh, particularly morning when uh, you get sunlight uh, particularly after 9 o'clock 9 a.m so you have to walk in the sunlight so that your body will get immunity and sugar levels will reduce fastly than uh, when you walk in the early mornings and then generally who are diabetic or pre-diabetic also they have to walk slowly after lunch particularly so when you finish your lunch you have to walk very normally or slowly for about 15 minutes so that your sugar will levels will be very under control so these things you have to uh, take care we have very good treatment in uh, homeopathy constitutional treatment and generally people in even pre-diabetic people they'll start uh, taking tablets so that they will be accustomed or habituated so if they stop uh, that sugar levels will be increased so once they start they have to take throughout their life so before starting your allopathic tablets if you come to us so our treatment will be genetic constitutional treatment and uh, even if you are having hereditary tendency if your parents are diabetic and you are having a tendency to get the diabetes also with our treatment that can be prevented so we can prevent uh, diabetes and if diabetes is already there we can even cure our uh, diabetes with our medicine and it will be hardly two to three years course will be there and it will permanently go and generally once you get diabetes it will uh, it will not go throughout your life you have to use some tablets so it's not like that our treatment will cure permanently but it may take two or three years depending on the severity of the disease and depending on the chronicity if you are having diabetes in 10 years 15 years then it will take some more time if you are pre-diabetic then a course of six months to one year is enough so that if permanently it will cure and in future also you won't get diabetes so that's the assurance we will give so even diabetes also can be cured even type 1 type 2 any diabetes and some people they'll get diabetes in pregnancy so we will call it as gestational diabetes even though generally the after delivery some people they'll uh, their sugar levels become normal but some people they'll continue like that the sugar levels will be more so they have to uh, take the treatment so even gestational diabetes also if if it is uh, treated at that time uh, time of pregnancy also we can uh, completely control and cure and even after that so after that also some people they continue to get the sugar levels high and they will take tablets or insulin so our treatment is there for everything and people have some doubt that when we are uh, taking already allopathy treatment when you come to homeopathy we have to stop all those things and we'll start homeopathy but it's not like that when you are taking already insulin or some tablets you can continue those things you have to continue and we'll start our treatment and slowly uh, when the sugar levels goes down we will reduce the insulin points or uh, tablets so that slowly you can taper and uh, uh, within six months you can completely stop the allopathic treatment and our treatment uh, you have to take uh, like one hour one year or two years like that depending on your condition and then you can stop totally even our medicine also and later we will tell you whatever things uh, what to avoid what not to avoid what you have to add in your uh, diet what you have to add in your exercise mental uh, and everything we will explain you so if you maintain those things throughout life you don't get diabetes and its complications will be nothing so diabetes can be curable 100 percent don't worry about it and uh, we will assure you for that thank you very much